Hi everyone, welcome to the first vlog of 2023. Today I want to start the vlog with just doing an unbiased dossier review. I have seen these around everywhere for like a long long time. I think it's been like a couple of years now and people have been talking about them, getting sponsored by them, but I bought this everything with my own money during their Christmas sale. I think they always have this deal where you can get three perfume for like 15% off. So that's what I got. The three perfume I got are right here. They come in these boxes, individually wrapped boxes, which is nice. It's very simple packaging and they're just hard cardboard boxes. So when you open it up, this pretty much has iconic scents, designer quality, no marks up. So if you don't know Dossier, pretty much duplicate the scent of very expensive perfume or cologne. The first one is Woody Sage, which is inspired by Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And this one's supposed to be a unisex cologne or perfume. And I had smelled the Jo Malone one, the original one in store before, and I really liked it. So that's why I picked this one. And this is how it looks. First impression, it smells really nice. It smells really fresh, but there's still some woody scent in there. It smells like something really nice to wear during the day. And I really like the packaging because it's like a magnetic top and it's just really sleek and simple, modern, nothing too fancy and crazy in the design bottle. It's a nice thick glass bottle, but not too heavy. And the second one I got is Ambery Saffron, which is inspired by the very, very popular Baccarat Rouge 540. It smells very strong. I don't know what I was expecting. I'm not, I actually don't even know what saffron smells like, but this is like really intense and strong. It smells more like a nighttime perfume for me, like you're going out for like a special occasion. I can't imagine myself wearing this like on a regular basis. It's very strong and to be honest, it smells a little bit old lady. And I never smelled the original, just FYI. So I don't know how it compared. But from what people have said online, this is like pretty spot on. So I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. We'll see how it goes when I wear them. Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by a very, very popular Sandal 33. And this one, never smelled it in store, but I know that it's very, very expensive. I'm a big fan of New York, so I know that they have their original store in New York and I really want to get a cologne or perfume from there, but it's just like $200, $300. Smell very nice. I think this is kind of like the in-between in term of like intensity in between the Jo Malone dupe and the 540. It's not too heavy and not too intense, I feel like you can still get away with wearing this during the day, like throughout the day, and it can still transition to nighttime. And it smells really, really unique. I think it's the violet leaves that's in here. That's the top note. And there's some musky scents in there. I really like it. I feel like this can also be a men's cologne, I, but it doesn't say that it's unisex or anything like that, but really like it. We'll see how that goes. I'll be testing this out to see how long they last on me and also how they react with my skin because different perfume just react differently on everyone's skin. So we'll see how that goes. First, I guess I'll start off with the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe, the Ambery Saffron. We'll test that out first. It looks very pretty, it's clear. And today it's around, what time is it? It is 11. AM right now, so I'm gonna spray this. We'll do, it smells really strong, so I don't know. It's, I feel like it, this might give me a headache, just from my experience from like other strong cologne and perfume. So we'll spray one here, and then I'll spray one on my wrist. Oh, two on my wrist, I guess. <laughs> and then wrap that in, and then we'll see how long this lasts. First impression on my skin, it doesn't smell as strong <laughs> in comparison to when I was smelling it from the bottle, but it still have that really strong scent. And I'm not sure if that's the saffron that I'm smelling. I think it is. I don't know how saffron smells like, but it's just, I just wish it smelled fresher 
if that makes any sense but we'll see um at least it's not as strong so it won't give me a headache hopefully and then i'll check in at the end of the day to see how long this lasts so it's been about eight hours of wearing the perfume and i can still faintly smell it on my wrist not really like on my neck anymore but it's extremely extremely faint like i would have to really put my nose on my earth to really smell it there's no other remnants of the smell on my body anywhere else anymore not on my clothes nothing i pretty much like stay home all day i only went out one time to pretty much do grocery shopping for like 30 minutes and then i came home and then i meal prep and made a bunch of dinners so that's what i did today nothing too much like outdoor or like super sweaty so it lasted about probably a good six hours like on you where maybe other people might be able to smell you so you probably would have to reapply it and i think once it's faded after a couple of hours it smelled a lot better to me because it's just not as strong it's because it's the scent is not really for me i think it's just too musky and it's too much it's too heavy I wouldn't even really wear this to like go out because I just prefer a fresher scent and no offense to anybody who loves this perfume like this is their like I know this is like many people's like all-time favorite perfume ever and people are saying it has the most unique scent and nothing can replicate it I never smell the original like I said but if this is kind of like in the same line I don't think I would enjoy the original so yeah, I'm going to return this one and good thing about Dossier is that you can return it within 30 days. So I'm going to return this one and then tomorrow we'll test out the other one. Price right here of the breakdown that I paid for. For the price, I think it's good. I can't really tell you the quality of the perfume other than the longevity and the scent. Like a good perfume now is about like $100 a bottle for like that size bottle. So I think for the price, it's pretty good. I do love the minimal design of the bottle but if you're someone who likes to collect perfume and enjoy the aesthetic on your shelf and would have to have variety of displayed it might not be for you okay hi good morning it's the next day and i am going to work today no makeup because i have no one to impress but today we're going to test out woody sandalwood this is the second day, and this is supposed to be the dupe of the Santal 33. And it smells pretty good. I'm gonna spray one and two here. And then we'll rub that in, and we'll see how long that lasts. So it is about nine o'clock right now, and I'm, I have a 10 hour shift today, so I won't be home until like 9.30 p.m. So I will check back in with you guys when i get home but so far it's not as overpowering and strong as the one from yesterday so this is a lot more promising and i can kind of live with the scent for my whole day without having a headache so we'll see how it is and it smell pretty similar on my skin as it is in the bottle hey guys so it's around 8 o'clock right now. Today I'm going to be wearing Woody Sage, which is supposed to be the dupe for the Jo Malone Sea Salt. And I love smells. And this smells so good. I'm going to do one on my wrist, one on my neck. And then well, that's it. Maybe one on my clothes. And this is kind of reminds me if you ever shop at kith in store they spray all of their clothes in this scent it's kind of like a unisex scent and i always thought that it's one of the perfume that they sell in store but i can never find the exact scent and i think it might be this it smells just like it not too much when it hits my skin but it's exact same when it's on my clothes so we'll see how long this lasts on my skin, my clothes, throughout the day. It's around 8 o'clock right now. So I'll check back at the end of the day and see how it is. But so far, I really like it so much better than the 540 
it's not as strong it's really fresh and it's a good daytime perfume and i can see this being a unisex cologne for men as well hey guys i'm back for the update so it's four o'clock right now so it's been about eight hours and I cannot smell the perfume on me anymore. It's completely disappeared, not on my clothes or on myself. So it's probably, I would say, disappeared about after five-ish hours. I do enjoy the scent overall, and I believe it is less expensive in comparison to the two other scents that I bought. So with the price and everything, I think, it's worth it. I don't mind reapplying and maybe next time I'll just put a couple more sprays on myself. But yeah, now we're gonna go out to dinner soon. So I'm probably gonna reapply. But right now, there's I don't smell like anything at all. As if I never spray anything on myself this morning. 